Boxing Truth here, back with another video. Make sure to smash that like button, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Alright, let's talk about Caleb Plant's latest showcase. Another opportunity to shine on a big network. Produce good ratings. However, Plant didn't produce in that ring. What really showed me that he's really a threat to Canelo or a fighter that even has a remotely a chance of beating Canelo. If the level, if the playing field is even, of course, it's a level playing field. I mean, the only way he wins is if he gets a gift decision by robbery for the judges just to give him rounds in a 12-round fight or a possible fight later this year. Canelo has business to settle at on the DAZN side. He's got Abney Yildrim to take care of later this month. I expect that to be. Another easy fight for Canelo. Shouldn't go no more than six rounds. But, um... I mean, Plant... He's, a, he's not he's an okay fighter. You know, he's got solid... Boxing skills. You know, he has... Good reflexes. He is fast. He does have some ability in that ring. But Canelo's just in a different stratosphere, man. He's just in a different league. The pressure of Canelo, the physical strength, the power, the defensive skills, the head movement, and the experience. He's just too goddamn seasoned. The experience of Canelo is going to overwhelm Caleb Plant. He's going to be in there with a guy with knockout power of either hand, with reflexes just as fast as his, if not betters, better defensive skills. Plant uses his reflexes to get away from most punches and speed. But even in this fight, you saw Caleb Truax was able to land some good shots in, 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 the, in the rounds that he was successful in. He was able to touch uh, Caleb, Caleb Plant as he started to fatigue, especially in the second half of that fight. It wasn't an entertaining fight. That's what Plant is. He wasn't able to make a statement against a showcase opponent where he was as high as a 35 to 1 favorite. There's been times where I've watched Plant fight and I've fallen asleep. I mean, the guy is just not that entertaining. He's had one decent win in his whole career against Ugatowski, where he was the slight underdog in. And now he's being uh, in line for a fight with Cano. And I expect it to happen. I mean, Canelo has to sign a minor he has to sign a two or three fight deal to get the fight with plant if he's going to fight Caleb Plant on Fox or whatever PBC platform that's available on that side. But Canelo's gonna have to has to negotiate a two to three fight deal in order to get this fight. And I expect him to do it if all goes well against Abney Yildrim and Billy Joe Saunders. But let me say this after watching all the champions in the division that Canelo is, you know, feasting on and planning to, you know, fight and unify with and become undisputed. Saunders is the most dis difficult fight for Canelo of the champions. He has the most difficult style for Canelo to deal with. Plant has a tricky style as well, but he's not strong enough, not good enough, not experienced enough, not powerful enough, not a good enough boxer, not good enough defensively to keep Canelo off for him. Saunders is more experienced, he has a better resume, he's been champion in two divisions, and when he's on, it could be a, a tricky night for anybody. But that's the question, will he be on for that one night? Will he fight to his level of competition, or is it just going to be more inconsistency from Billy Joe Saunders? To me, he's the only fighter among the remaining champions in the 68-pound division that has even remotely of any chance of beating Canelo, because he has a tricky style a style that's all wrong for Canelo, but Canelo's strength, power, his uh, combinations, his his uh, flashy, crisp, sharp punches, his boxing skills and experience could offset that. And his pressure and power and, and, and strength and punching power could really make Saunders uncomfortable in there. Saunders has never been in there with that type of puncher, that type of skill set, and that type of pressure. So that's going to be a new, de new territory for Billy Joe Saunders. Saunders' weakness in that fight will be his conditioning. And, and Canelo has also had weaknesses 
He's also shown weaknesses in that regard. That's been that was one of his major weaknesses when he was coming up, especially when he first started fighting world class fighters. His conditioning and his gas tank was a big weakness. But as you can see in the past three years, ever since he's moved up for 154, he's really improved in that area. Maybe because he was squeezing down to 154, it, you know, it, you know, it, it uh, cost him some conditioning, strength, and stamina. Now that he's been fighting at 60, 68, he's he's not tiring as fast as he used to. He's looking a lot fresher in the later rounds, especially in the second half of fights. And his conditioning was the best I've ever seen in the in the Kyle Smith fight. I mean, he didn't have much resistance, but usually he he looks a lot more winded in fights. But he looked very strong throughout the whole 12 rounds in that Callum Smith fight. And Canelo's coming, man. He's coming for your straps. He's about to uh, relieve Billy Joe Saunders of his strap. But I agree it's the most difficult fight for Canelo at 68, stylistically. And of the champions, I mean. I mean, people will say Benavidez is, is the biggest threat. And I agree with that. I think he's the most challenging fight for Canelo at 68. But Billy Joe Saunders has the most difficult style among the champions remaining at 68. But Canelo's coming for your strap. He's about to relieve y'all beltless and looking out on the outside. Caleb Plant is food for Canelo. Everybody knows it, especially after this week performance. Just wasn't impressive, man. Just not impressed. Just don't look like a fighter that can beat Canelo. Nobody at 68 really is showing that they, they really got a chance. Benavidez has to uh, get back to the, you know, get back into the Next at 68, get that win against a contender in, in Ronald Ellis, who's rated by WBC. But he's going to have to wait for his, his chance if he's going to fight Canelo because, well, Canelo's saying he's not going to fight Mexican fighters at this time unless it's a, you know, a really, really big major fight. Benavides is a couple of fights away from that level. So is Jaime Munguia. But he just needs to get into that mandatory position. He's number one. The number one rated contender at middleweight already for WBC, but Canelo's about to fulfill that obligation with Adney Yildrum, and he'll have nine months, up to a year, to do whatever he wants, and before WBC will make him fight a mandatory again. Maybe not. They maybe they won't. So, unimpressive for Plant. Another easy title showcase win for Canelo. Canelo Saunders is the fight at 68. That will be competitive. That will be. That will be the fight to see if Canelo has really improved against that style. So we'll see what goes down later this month. Canelo should make easy work of Adney Yildrum. Billy Joe Saunders will be the most challenging fight for Canelo at, among the 68 champions. And Plant is just food for a showdown later this year for a possible two-fight Canelo deal with PBC. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.